Hello and welcome back to the Super Swiss. We are on the path to creating Switzerland. Thanks to a generous gift from our liege, we have all the land that we need once again. We are actually a level of prestige higher than our father had ever reached. Well, I think he reached distinguished right at the end, but you get the idea. And we're almost at illustrious. We're about halfway there. So, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to continue doing what we were doing before. We're going to build up our holdings. We're going to try and get prestige. And we're generally just going to let things go. Uh, we've got 37. Well, we are 37, which means we've got like maybe 23 years max to do this. Eh, it seems possible. How much prestige do we need in 23 years? Like 2,000? Yeah, that's, a, that's very possible. Right, anything we can do in here? Nope. When can we do this again? Uh, this year. Perfect. Let's do another artifact. And that'll at least fill up our artifacts, giving us, like, permanent buffs, which will be kind of cool. New stewardship perk. Let's see. Gold aplomb. Not the very useful, but we will take it. That uh, gives us nothing, because our stress level is currently zero. But, hey, uh, if our stress level ever goes up, we'll end up making 10% more gold. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. Um, to make bishop... Ansgar, more susceptible to my attempts at approaching him, I can include a compliment to in my next missive to his court. Um, okay, we don't really need to do this anymore. I'll just keep it short and professional. That seems fine. Ooh, what are we doing? Commission artifact, host feast. Host feast will be first. This one's going to get us a guaranteed prestige. Let's do it. A cheery gathering. A feast with a friend. It is such a joy to see my brother and friend Otto. Once again, we eat, drink, and sing together, as if no time has passed since uh, we parted last. We could have been dining in a barn, and this would have still been one of the greatest feasts I've ever been to. So, we get um, Lord Stress. Her stress is already zero, so that's fine. And then Reinvigorating Friendships. We get a huge health boost for five years. Actually, not bad. It just guarantees we're not going to die, which is good. What? Okay, I need to read this one again in a second. Um, as one plate of food is replaced by the next, my vassal Mayor uh, Burchard goes on and on about trade routes. And that was how we salvaged that mess. Are you sure I'm not bored, uh, boring you, my lord? Okay, so we can have an interesting conversation with this dude. Okay, or we talk more about him. Well, I don't think he's going to be around very long. He's ill, so there's a chance he just dies. He's not really that important. Let's just have an interesting conversation, get diplomacy and learning. Right. So why did you leave? Um, your steward, Count Otto, left his position and your court as a result of his marriage to a landed spouse. He's Oh, so Count Adela got, or Countess Adela, now has Dresd, Dresden over here. Well, obviously, we're going to grab ourselves a little alliance there. Um, and then we're going to say, hey, you want to join my court? No. Okay, fine. Uh, new steward needed. I mean, it could be this guy. He kind of likes us now. Yeah, I suppose he's not great. I mean, we did replace our previous steward because he was terrible. Maybe we just put him Balder. I'll just put him Balder for just now. That's fine. Right. Uh, Matilda can marry. So Matilda is 16. Uh, and she is my half-sister. Okay, so probably an alliance we're looking for here, ideally. Um, get an alliance with the Kingdom of Norway. 4,000 troops? It's not bad. They might be in a lot of wars, though. How about uh, Jaland? Um, 3,000 troops. Less chance of them being in a war because they're not the top level liege. Yeah, I think you seem like a good alliance for us. Matrilineally? Absolutely not. That's just as I thought. Right. And that's our half-sister Matilda being sent off for that alliance. Okay. That seems like a solid alliance. 3,000 men. Not close enough that we'll ever have to interact with them in any way, except if we want them in our wars. They may call us into a war once or twice, but I think that's fine. So we've married her to Duke Svend. Um, okay. And this is Adela of Dresden saying um, she's honoured by our request and we will have an alliance. So we now have two more alliances. Fantastic. Um, that is the feast over. We gain some prestige, but we also got Eager Reveler, which means that we'll get better ev events from uh, doing feasts. Like, I think we get more stress off for doing them. But it also means that we get opinion of revelers up, intrigue and diplomacy permanently, and every guest has opinion of us. Nice. 
That seems good. I see we can check in here. Hey! The faction to install can Odon uh, is gone. Okay, so have we got any left? We got a couple left, but nothing too strong. Okay. Uh, back in here. I just want to have a look at host feast. There we go. So we lose 54 stress because we're an eager reveler. So makes it better. We can petition our liege. Um, I don't think we need to petition our liege. I don't think there's anything we want. Let me just have a look. Uh, council appointment. I mean, that would get us prestige. Potentially. Yeah, okay. Urbanize the city holding. Or underwrite a temple. Uh, let's ask him for a council seat. Let's see what he says. Petition accepted. I'm escorted into Kaiser Ordolf's uh, throne room, where he beckons for me to approach and address him. I loosely date the abilities, proven and otherwise, that make me a suitable candidate to be the Kaiser's spymaster. Really? Spymaster? Anyway. Um, requesting a position as his advisor. I certainly can't do any worse than Duke Dietwin of Tuscany. Um... Yeah, sure. He has 15 intrigue. I have 8, but sure. After listening to the speech, he smiles warmly at me and states, Absolutely, vassal. I shall dispatch my agents immediately to take care of this matter. So we are now his spy master. We gain some renown for doing that. And I think that we get permanent prestige. For, oh, not permanent prestige, but we get prestige per month for the, doing that, right? Uh, No, not at all. Well, there might be events that we get, though. Uh, I know we can get events, so that's fine. Uh, just double checking. Now a new month's passed. No, we get money, right? Mm, no. <laughs> we also do not get money. Okay, well I guess we just get events. Well, that's fine then. Maybe other positions get other things, and that's why I'm confusing it. Or maybe I'm just wrong. That's also fine. Uh, commission artifact, we'll do that in a second. My spy master had the priest brought forth for the revelation and judgment of a grand conspiracy. However, when the priest refused to confess, Count Gelduin had absolutely no evidence uh, or support for his accusations. To then say, please stop embarrassing me and I lose piety, or priest must be guilty of something. I lose more piety, but I gain dread, which will reduce my monthly costs. Yeah, he'll be guilty of something. See, we got 0 0.1 per month. It's incredible. Uh, and that's due to dread lowering our men at arms maintenance. Which is okay. Our daughter has learned a language. Cool. Uh, we're fourth in line to inherit the Holy Roman Empire. I don't want it. Don't give it to me. Um, Hartwood's only six. Okay. I was looking at him and I was like, should we get him a marriage? I don't think we need to. Too young for us to worry about that. Okay. I arrived back in my castle after a long, lonely walk. Another year passed, another year older. Someone's trying to murder us. Uh, I was born to stay 38 years ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it saddens me that I've not heard from my wife, uh, Zinislav Zvinislava, or any of my friends today. I trudge along to my chambers, loneliness impeding my lazy feet, when I hear a clang and hushed whispers from down the hall. Wait, no, this is the surprise party. Oh, this is fine. Happy birthday. What a surprise! All my nearest and dearest friends have come together to wish me well as I begin this next year of life. There's even an entire table laden with candied figs. My favourite! Here I was thinking that everyone had forgotten about me. I cannot believe that Zinnislava uh, went to all the trouble of arranging this in secret. I had not a clue such a thoughtful surprise was being planned at all. My friend Otto! Hey! He's over from the Dresden court has come here. Approaches me struggling to carry three beautifully wrapped presents. Ever the trickster... Um, he says, I've got three gifts for the choosing. One shall be yours, but which shall it be? I'm going to take the big gift. We got uh, a birthday gift. Um, so that's our dagger. And it actually is our dagger. Is it any good? No. Not really. Okay. Well, that's fine. Masonic Dealings. A guild of stonemasons has established itself in the city, uh, or in the county of Zurich. Having dedicated craftsmen in my personal service could help the region flourish. So I can strike a deal with their chief mason. That is a 70% chance of good stuff. And we get cooperative stonemasons no matter what, which is good. We get Balder to do it, which is a 79% chance of good stuff, but we don't get any prestige. 
Or why would I need their help? I have serfs. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. We're hoping for at least a 45 here. So we lose 95 gold and set, gain 75 prestige. We got. Speed it up. We got. I don't know what we got. Speed it up. There we go. You insult me and my entire profession, my lord. The chief mason is not at all pleased with the offers I'm willing to make. In fact, prices are on the rise. Simply the cost of labor, of course. I'm sure the duke understands. So I can have 180 gold for cooperative stone masons, or I can say, uh, nah. Okay, I'm gonna say nah, and we don't lose anything for it. Somebody has plotted to kill my courtier, Valence. Who? Oh, you married Lambert. Oh. We must stop this. Yeah, horrible. Um, I'm third in line. What? I don't want it. Well, <laughs> give it away. Uh, wait, no, I want. I didn't want claimants. I wanted this one. That's the button I'm looking for. Who's voting for me? Uh, Bohemia is voting for me. All right. Just Bohemia, but Bohemia has three votes. Well, that's a little worrying. Okay. I don't want that kind of power. We gotta decrease uh, Bohemia's opinion of me. Also, yeah, we do have low county control in uh, Grisson. Let's uh, maybe, you know, fix that. Cool. Right, so carrying on. Somebody is, oh, is Radbot is plotting against uh, Valence. Radbot married to Hedwig. Oh, okay. I don't know why you're doing this. Can I just tell you to like, stop? No, I mean, I could dismiss him, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, right, carrying on. This guy likes me at 100. We can start improving uh, someone else's opinion of me. Let's go in here. Would the Pope give me money if he liked me? He would in about a month's time, maybe. Why don't you go sway the Pope for a while? It's not a very high chance of success, but it might work. Who knows? Are we looking? We're about halfway there. We're just over halfway there. Oh, you'll just give us the money no matter what? Oh, never mind. Stop swaying him. Uh, which vassal hates me? Sort by opinion of you. Um, 21 is the lowest opinion. Oh. Alright, go uh, sway this guy. That's fine. Right, carrying on. Bailey is being constructed and we got a tax refund from the Pope. Which means that in our capital of Bern, we can continue to build more things. Um... Well, ideally, I think we could build the pastoral lands up again. Yeah, let's get that one going. And then we have a little bit more. We could potentially branch out. We didn't get the thing in Zurich that makes things cheaper. Am I still... I'm building this, right? Yeah. Uh, how much is it? Four, uh, it's 495. Alright, get some money-making ones here. You can't get the one that gives you a 0 0.5 per month. Oh, you can get hill farms, which isn't as good. Yeah, okay. Oh, and then you both already have things built. How about I increase crop fields in Zurich to get us more holding taxes and then more tax uh, as a flat value? Let's do that. Sure. What's this one? Commission artifact. Of course, let's do that. Um, we have no armor. Let's, let's get some armor. Uh, my beneficiary, Athanasios. Assures me he will create me a masterpiece. What type of armor do I want? Uh, sturdy and reliable. Good protection, but less flexible. Not very flashy, but dependable. Um, I don't know. Scale. We'll, we'll get scale armor. That seems fine. Okay. And now we just chill. Again, just letting our prestige go up, letting our fame go up. Level of Splendor went up. What does that do? Well, it gives more prestige to children. Not entirely useful. It also gives more prestige when someone marries into your family, which I think makes them more likely to want to. Uh, and then we get more long reign opinion, I think. I think all of them go up. Yeah. So, that's fine. Uh, we got inefficient census. So, Lord holding taxes in Grisson. Thanks to our steward, who has, like, okay stewardship, so he just got a bad roll. Oh well. Inspiration, a name to remember. Is there anyone special to you? So this is who he wants us to dedicate it to. Uh, we want it to be dedicated to us, basically, to no one. 
That's continuing to go up. That's fine. Carrying on. At least we haven't had any bad events for this one this time. Hey, 50 opinion with that guy. Fellow connoisseur. My vassal, Merritt Bouchard, accosts me. Well met, liege. I've heard tale of your patronage of Athanasios, the armorer. They say he's making scale armor, scale armor worthy of a duke. Please take this and give it to him. I wouldn't want to miss the chance to aid in the creation of a masterpiece. Okay. So I can take 15 gold and give it to him. Oh, I'll make sure he gets it or no keep it. All right, I'll give it over. Why not? Makes it better. Uh, anything in here we can declare more wars? Don't need to. Don't want to. Inefficient census gone, thanks to us increasing control. Hey, the holding taxes are back up. A friendly word. Ah, my friend Eleonora stops me in the hall with a beaming smile. There you are, Volter. I've just spoken to Anna, to Athanasios. I heard he is making scale armor for you. I couldn't resist a visit to his armor, uh, armory. I talked to him about how to meet your expectations. I think you'll like the result. As with last time, she lowered the quality. Ah, dear. Well, that's uh, our friend for us. Right, carrying on. A hey, couple of things finished. We finished a keep in Bale and homesteads in Burn. Okay, so in Burn, we want to immediately start upgrading that some more. Let's get the next level of hunting grounds for a little bit extra tax and more levies. Yes, that seems good. And it lowers host it, it raises hostile raid time, which doesn't matter too much, but you know, never know, it might matter eventually. This one's finished, which now means that we have increased county control. And people are plotting against my liege. I don't really like that, but there's not much we can do. I'm thinking what I might do is I might switch Prince Bishop Arnold over onto train commanders for a while. Just to try and uh, get us some better knights. And we can designate a guardian for Walter, my son. Now, uh, he's currently doing a stewardship education. He could do a learning education. Uh, I think stewardship is better. Yeah. Then we just need to find him somebody good to educate him. Out of curiosity, what education did you get? Uh, not good enough. Okay. That's fine. Um, let's see if we can find him someone to marry. So we are looking for somebody who has um, good inheritable traits. Somebody who is within... What age are you? S wait, no, we're looking for... Wait, wrong one. <laughs> I need I need a guardian, not an... <laughs> <laughs> Not someone for him to marry, although we could find him someone to marry. Right. Uh, do we have anybody who has stewardship? Yes, you have stewardship and you're intelligent. Actually, yeah, my mother can do it. That's it, or my stepmother. That seems good. Right. Let's not go down the wrong uh, one here. It's like, oh, yes, we'll find him someone to marry. No need to do that. No need to do that whatsoever. Right. Stewardship perk avail available. And we have finished our scale armor. My lord! He waves me over with a wide grin, gesturing towards a covered armor stand. I've toiled over the forge for many days and nights, but finally my work is done. This is the same as last time, I think. Um, the armor is constructed from finely crafted hardened leather scales that are fastened to a backing of leather. The set includes a nasal helmet and male coif padded with wool. The, entire, the whole armor has been painted with images of religious symbols. Cool. It's uh, just a plain old thing, but it gives us prestige per month. We'll take it and levy reinforcement rate of for the same faith. That seems good. I think that means for uh, holdings that are your faith. So that seems great. Yeah. We'll take it and we will immediately wear it. There we go. Prestige per month has gone up. Wonderful. And we get a new one here. We unlock the sell titles decision. Uh, grants gold in exchange for prestige. Exactly the opposite of what we want to do right now. But that's fine. Right. Anything in here that we can do? No, I don't want to sell trivial titles. I think we're fine in there. Okay, cool. Right, unpause and let it roll again. Continuing to try and get this prestige up. We're almost there. Like, it's just a little bit. I think the next round of feasts and uh, hunts will probably get us close. Hamlet's been finished. We're making a ton of um, money now. Uh, now that you've got this finished, I think I can now upgrade this building. Yeah, okay. Let's upgrade that one in uh, Beal. Seems good to me. Court physician is now renowned, so he's actually really good at his job. Fantastic. And you got me an additional 70 gold. I appreciate it. The scheme at court. Someone is plotting to murder Goswin. No way. Okay, well, um, that's fine. 
Um, carrying on. Faction targeting us have disbanded. Count Albrecht has been excommunicated by the Pope. Can we do anything about this? No? Okay. What wars have we got, out of curiosity? Um, so I've got your claim on what? Coburg. No, I don't really need that. That's fine. Crane? I got your claim on Crane. And who who am I pressing? So uh this would become someone else's vassal if it if it passes. So this is for Mitch Thild. Yeah, Mitch Thild. Okay. If we win it, we would get prestige based on contribution and we would gain a hundred fame. You can't declare the war? Oh, due to my liege's laws. Oh, in which case there's no point in looking at this. I could try and get a favor with my liege, but I'm not too worried about it. My son has learned a new language. Okay, cool. That's fine. Clear that out. And continue just chilling. Duke, my alliance with Duke Ebhard is no longer um, there. Okay. Since Duchess Ida of Austria and Duke Gebhard, the Impaler of Austria, are no longer married or betrothed. So Ida is dead. Okay, Gebhard, we need an alliance stat. Um, can we get an alliance? No. You're my cousin. Surely we could get an alliance. No. Why not? Pretty much every single reason there. Okay, that's fine. Um, we could try and get a marriage to somebody and that would allow us to do this who's your land going to who's your heir your heir is this person yeah okay we've got some children um how about i marry my daughter to your son yeah so i'm gonna marry angel through to my oh i'm gonna marry my half sister to your son that seems fine no, she has claims on my titles. That seems like a bad idea. Uh, what about if I marry my son to your daughter? Yeah. So I'm going to marry my second son. So Walter, I'm going to marry to um, Berta. There's a chance of their children being inbred. Doesn't bother me at all. Because uh, we're not going to be playing as them, probably. Right, alliance formed. Now, what I'm hoping is that I can now form an alliance with you again. No. Okay. So basically, whenever Gephard dies, we will have an we will have an alliance of Austria and Steermark. We won't have an alliance with the whole lot because you're going to inherit the other couple of duchies, and you're going to inherit the other couple of duchies. My God, he's collecting duchies. But we will have an alliance over here, which will be okay. This guy's going to die soon, I think. Though it says he's fine. He's a drunkard. Uh, I don't know if they changed it, but I think drunkard gives a like, most of my characters in my first couple of runs of this game, Drunkard just killed them immediately. So, I'm assuming that's the thing. But it could just be random chance that Drunkard killed them. That's the other thing. Rival taken prisoner. Oh, okay. That's fine. Anything here? We can ask our head of faith for another 300 gold. Of course I will do that. Why would I not? Why can we not do a hunt? Because it hasn't been another year. Okay. Well, in Burn, we now have more money. So, uh, more building. Let's build up the wooden barracks. So that gets us an extra 100 troops. Uh, and then we have even more money. So how about in Zurich, I upgrade the pastures. Cool. We actually have even more if we want it. We could potentially build one of these. Give us ourselves more knights, maybe. And knight effectiveness and lower our army cost. That could be good. Monthly prestige. Tempting. Um, you know what? Sure. Let's get some military academies over here. That seems good. Right. A couple of different things going on at once. Schemer discovered. More people are plotting against Goswin. In fact, I think this is just we've revealed who's plotting against Goswin. It's Rosa, who was married to Philibert. Okay. Sure. I don't need to worry about any of these. None of these people are that important to me. We finished Town Pens. War declared on Liege. Countess Christina of Oldenburg. What's your war? War against the tyranny. Okay. I need a guardian for Otto. Otto is our third son. Okay. Um, I mean, intrigue's fine, I suppose. I'm not a huge fan. 
Uh, let's find you somebody to ma- uh, not to marry. <laughs> almost did the exact same thing again. Let's find you somebody to educate you. So we're looking for like a genius. Sure. Yeah, why doesn't uh, this dude educate you? He, he looks... Um... Reliable. No, this is the other way around. I want to offer ward. We can't do that. Okay, that's fine. Next one. Hadwig. Wrong educate. Oh, they all have the wrong education. Oh yeah, that's fine. Uh, quick. Actually, we want intelligent first. There we go. Intelligent. And then um, sort by intrigue. Uh, how about you, Mayor Willibert? Uh, I would like to offer you a ward. I would like to offer you Otto. Yes, so Otto and Willibert. He seems happy with this. Right, you're heading off to uh, Reinick, which is where? Ah, somewhere up here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we've swayed this guy to fool. Wonderful. And uh, we shall carry on. Uh, the Teutonic Order now exists. My paths happen to have crossed with Countess Adela, and to my surprise, it seems as though she does not have a great impression of my friend, Count Otto. Are you not married to him? You are. Okay. Well, that's... Okay. Um, perhaps I should take this opportunity to change her mind, so I can tell her a story about Otto. Perhaps uh, people should be talking to me instead. Uh... Let's try and make her like Otto. I improved her opinion of Otto. Fantastic. Least we could do after taking all of his land. Right. Getting ahead. Both Prince, Bish uh, Prince Archbishop Ellenhard of Salzburg and I are held in esteem by our liege, Kaiser Ordolf. However, when it comes to handing out titles, honor, and wealth, one of us will always be first among equals. The upcoming gathering at, ca at Castle Castle. Cassel Castle? Sorry, that was kind of weird to say. It gives me a chance to ensure that I am the one of the Kaiser's favor. So we can try and smooth talk him, and that would get me a favor. Ooh. Uh, I will illustrate that God already favors me, or Vassal should work together. No, I want my favor. I became fr uh, friendly with him, and I got a favor. Wonderful. Um, Count Thimo has created Austrian, a divergent culture of Bavarian. Hmm. Neat. Demand payment. 300 gold? That's so much. I want to use it to declare war, but I could get 300 gold. I'm going to take the 300 gold. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to take the 300 gold, and I'm going to stick that right into one of our properties here and just upgrade it. You know, usually you call them holdings, but I'm going to call them properties, apparently. Um, Let's get more levies. I feel like we're going to need that. Sway scheme ends. He's dead. Well, yeah, that would lower his opinion of us. Um, right, let's start swaying his uh, son and increase his opinion of us. Right, what are we missing? We're missing a chancellor. Okay. Who has the highest? Balder. Uh, it's not going to be Balder. Could be Gottschalk. Who does it want me to put in? Either of these people. We have 22. What's your... One. You have one uh, diplomacy. Okay, well, it's not going to be you. Uh, You have ten stewardship. We maybe put you in stewardship, but we don't really want to reassign Balder. That doesn't really do anything for us. I guess I'm going to assign Gottschalk. We'll see how that goes. We could try and find somebody perfect, but I don't think that's where we're at right now. Let's call a hunt. Right, clear that out. And carrying on. Wildflowers. This hunting trip has been less than fruitful so far. Some of our party appear to have given up completely or are attempting at making the best of a lovely day outside. But what on earth is my spy master, Geldwin, doing? He is crouched down on the ground, humming cheerfully. My lord, look! There are many useful herbs and flowers here. This one can uh, soothe aches, while this one aids in the recovery of a broken ankle, and this one is said to ward off lover's pox. He keeps blabbing on about the plants he collected instead of being on the lookout for prey. And say, get back on your horse, that gets me prestige. However, it makes my spy master dislike us. Not great. What about that flower? Or Are you practicing witchcraft? So we can lower opinion by 30 or lower prestige by 50. 
It's kind of a bad event. I guess I'll get my prestige. That's why we're here. We've returned from the wild and got some more prestige. Look at that. We're almost, almost there. To the heroic Duke Volter. Who are you? Princess uh, Mitchild of the Holy Roman Empire. Okay. Your tolerable wit is the balm for my weary soul. My heart yearns to sniff your breeches, that I may know the touch of the divine. How I long for you. These lines are but a bleak reflection of my feelings for you. I will do anything to prove my loyal affections. Signed, Mechild. Um, You flatter me, my lady? Okay. Sure. Why not? Let's host a feast. A cheery gathering. A promise is a promise. Unconcerned with any etiquette, my vassal mayor Burchard slaps him in the back. I mean it, he exclaims. I'll do anything you ask of me. Anything at all. Ask me and it's done. Alright, so this is the one where we can get a favor or we get opinion. Um, I want a favor from him because I want his money. And we now have his money. Good. Troubled vassal. The pleading gaze I received from my vassal Emedi is taking on a desperate tone. Okay. Um... A group of guests are approaching the corner he has hidden all evening, and the walls are hindering his escape. Well, I mean, he is a giant, that's probably going to happen a lot. The poor man has never been good with people. I can distract them and get a weak hook and more money, or tell us a story. Uh, let's distract them. Also, then I'm going to say, like, hey, give me your money. 50 gold, thank you very much, I will see you later. Stewardship perk available. My guests have departed, I gained prestige. We are now very close to illustrious. My personal champion position has been vacated. I think I need a new one. When I sent out the invitations to a dance, I was looking forward to an uh, evening of good company and frivolous fun. Instead, I found myself stuck in a dreadful conversation with my vassal, Mayor um, Osterhild. Good evening, greets a familiar voice. Mitchell joins the conversation. She is an attentive listener, and soon Osterhild's attention is fully on her. I'm free to escape. Since it's a useful lesson in diplomacy, um, which if I... If I get it, 8%, I get a Diplomacy Lifestyle perk, or I get one Diplomacy uh, for five years. I can say a Duke has time for everyone, lowers her opinion of me, raises her opinion of me. I'm not staying a moment longer than I have to. We'll have a chance at a Diplomacy perk, why not? Okay, and then we're earning 16.8 with 11 coming from our domain. I take Avarice, and now we are earning an extra 15% with two extra stewardship. 18.5 with 12.7 coming from our domain. So it's a good increase. Solid. Now, we do have a choice here. We finished that uh, stewardship path. We could switch to diplomacy and try and get ourselves some prestige. Now, because we got extra stewardship, we might be able to do this. So we got 13. Our wife is currently giving us... Uh, she's currently giving us one. If we lower our... Actually, we might be fine without it. If we lower it by 3, we'll still be on 10. I think we're good to go. Yeah, okay. So we're fine to switch off of this. Let's switch to this and maybe get ourselves prestige per month. Let's just go for it. And that should now push us even closer per month. We only need about 600. Uh, petition liege, invite knights. Sure, let's invite some knights. Um, anything I can petition them for which is, like, even good? No. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna, like, unnotify me and just let it roll. How are we looking here? Still building, that's good. Sun has learned a new language. Wonderful. Carrying on. A knight has arrived. Okay, how good is he? Gerhard, 20. You're recruited. Welcome to the court. Empty accusations. My spymaster had the priest brought before. We just had this one. Um, I'll take the 20 dread to increase our, uh, like, to lower our men at arms maintenance cost. That seems good to me. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Carrying on. Gilded Rat's tail was destroyed. We knew that was going to happen. Designate a guardian for Sigismund. Or Sigismund. Uh, Sigismund is doing a... Let's mix it up. Let's give you a martial education. We must have somebody in court who can give you a martial education. Oh, you'll you'll be okay. 
You're a fourth son, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're you're not getting the land. You we'll just put a knight in charge of you. And the fact that he's an aspiring blade master, I think, would probably be good. I don't know. Wait, no, I think there's an actual knight trait, isn't there? Is there? Uh knight? Yeah, there are knight well, there's this one. Um Have I filtered it with something? There's nobody with that trait? Okay. Um, I was wondering if we have anybody with any of those traits. What if I just go for High Marshal? After saying I wasn't going to go into this menu, I'm now in this menu. I thought there was like a... Yeah, I thought like everybody had this trait. Or like a bunch of people did. Maybe I'm um, just wrong again. Oh, you're an adventurer. I haven't seen that one. Uh, nope. Okay. I'm going to give up in a second. What if I just pick somebody at random and just have a look? So how about you? Nothing. 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 No, okay. So I don't really know what I'm doing there. So instead, I'm just going to uh, get my child educated by random person number five. Not me. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Although we could get prestige, I suppose. But we'll, we'll have uh, our child educated by this dude, which will be fine. Loyalty or fear? As their duke, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law, but how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of crisis, a slow response or half-hearted effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? And get unwavering loyalty, lower vassal taxes, get direct vassal opinion. Fear, so get dread and wound him, or a more important men to impress. Yeah, let's make our liege like us more. He already liked us a lot, so that, that'll be good. This guy's in our court. 26! You're, you're hired. Let's go. We're getting even better at nights. A story about... The fire roars, drinks have been had, and Marie is calling out for a story. My first thought is of a famous Swabian uh, folk tale. A classic that never fails to delight. On the other hand, what if I told the story of my own life? Perhaps the time... Uh, of the time my friends Eleonora and Otto threw me a surprise birthday party. My story. Yes, the surprise birthday party story. That's bound to be a good story. We only need about 400 now. Levying grounds have finished and burn. I think we've finished everything that we can build. Uh, no, we can still build more. We just need a lot more money behind these ones. Commission artifact. Sure. Uh, we don't have a crown yet. Let's get a crown. Why not? Die twin. You're not quite as good as the others. I'm not going to recruit you, Dyke Twin. And it's not just because I have no money. Although that does help me not recruit you. Also, uh, I was going to do this. This was in the back of my mind and it was distracting me. We do want to put in somebody to give us more prestige. You're excellent at it. Milo, you shall do this job. And that will give us an extra 0.4 prestige per month and lower the uh, speed at which our dread decays, which will be nice. So yeah, we're going up at 4.4 per month. That's fantastic. And now we carry on. How old are we now? 43. Proof of devotion. Lord Valter, my graceful star. My courtier, Mitchild, is kneeling in the dust before me. Um, I was going to say, did we have a soulmate? I think that was you who had a soulmate, right? Maybe. I think Otto had a soulmate. I don't think Valter has a soulmate. No. Although we could romance her. That's something to remember. Um, my only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray, tell me, how can I prove my love for you? So we have to get her to prove her love to us. Slay me a wolf. This is a wolf pelt. And get me a necklace. Give me something unusual. Where this madness ends now. Yeah, slay me a wolf. She failed to slay a wolf. I'm shocked. Also, I'm going to start romancing my wife. Here we go. 22% chance. Oh, and another event appears. A declaration of love. Um, what do we think she's going to like? She is fickle, paranoid, and vengeful. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go with my gut. <laughs> I found a classic Polish love ballad which suits Swinislava perfectly. I practice it over and over. Everything must be perfect. I found my darling walking in the burn garden, surrounded by her friends. My heart beating like a hammer, I kneel before her and sing. Her cheeks turn a deep uh, pomegranate red, but she does not interrupt me. Her companions all look pleased or jealous. Surely a good sign. You have a be beautiful voice, my lord. 
uh, she says before she hurries off. Her friends were quick to follow. I stand up on chafing legs, watching them disappear between the hedges, my heart beating harder than ever. But well, we'll carry on with that. Inspiration. This is ridiculous, Philibert pr uh, protests. As the keeper of the Duke's personal collection, I have a responsibility to ensure the quality of your work. You will see it once it's finished, Anna retorts. You should leave a man to his work when he is forging a crown fit for royalty. Then say Philibert will ensure its quality. 66% chance it's higher. Stick to your own duties. Or it's time for a breath of fresh air. It will cost me uh, prestige. For two. Oh, because this would be replacing um, Philibert of Anno. Uh, we're going to let Philibert mess around with it. He improved the work. Wonderful. That's what we like to see. Oh, yeah. I was going to check. Can I join your war? Uh, no. I don't think so. Offer to join war? Yeah, okay. We could do this. That's something to do. He said yes. We won the war. Fantastic. It didn't do anything for us. We didn't get anything. Because the war ended too quickly. Burn as a smuggling ring. Not ideal. Glimmering gold. Sweet lady, Zvinislava. I at sighs and kneel before her. My only desire is to bring you honor and happiness. Pray tell me, how can I prove my love for you? Lady Adeline's necklace is lovely, but it would look even better around my neck. All right, we've had this one before. Um, I don't think we can steal it this time. If you commission an identical necklace, compliment her taste. She already likes us. I'll commission her an identical necklace to go with my crown. Let's go. Considered opinion. My metalsmith Anno updates me on his progress, droning on about the limits of hammer and bellows as my mind reels with bold ideas for my crown. Making may not be my personal forte, but that doesn't mean I can't have a say in how money is spent. So we attempt to interfere, which has a 50% chance of good, 35% chance of bad. Um, we can say, have you considered this angle? 85% good, 0% bad, or he knows what he's doing. Well, I have the 85% chance of good, please. My lord, the work on your precious artifact is proceeding well. The beneficiary Anno stands, uh, seems in very a very good mood today. I'm not making any promises, but if I manage to produce a true masterpiece, what idea would you like to guide my hand? Um, opinion modifier. Vassal opinion modifier. Um, ruler opinion modifier. Impress my vassals. Definitely. The request. Lady... Svinislava, let me prove my devotion to you in any way you deem fit. She ponders the request for a while before her face lights up. I've been plagued with nightmares lately. If you are truly devoted to me, you will stand guard outside my chambers and make sure no evil reaches me. So we can do that. 85% chance that I um, uh, stay awake. Get, uh, she gets well rested. Opinion of me and the scheme gains devotion. Um, okay, but a chance that uh, she becomes sleep deprived. I can do an intrigue one. Okay, where Broom with my cloak on top can fight nightmares just as well, or I will not do it. We will do it. Oh, I gained sleep deprived for two years. It's a minor health penalty. Uh, I'm feeling fine. How long is the... Oh, my other health penalty is gone. Or bonus is gone. I don't really want a health penalty. I'll take a 67% chance that the Broom does a good job. No one uncovers the ruse. Fantastic. Well, that was the best for everyone. Wolfram is now a holy warrior. Okay. We're almost there. A lady's honor. My god, Duchess Zvinislava is such an insufferable fiend. Have you seen how she glances around? Ridiculous. My knight uh, widow throws his head back with a wicked laugh. Zvinislava is conversing with her friends, but I can tell she heard him. I hate to see her hurt. And say, draw your sword. Um, There's a... 59% chance I best him in a duel. Okay, and I get active heroism. She likes me either way. There's chance I become wounded. Apologize to the lady, or he couldn't be more wrong. I will best him in a duel. Widow joins... Vido join, uh, draws his sword with a cocky grin, or I will enjoy wiping that arrogant look off his face. When I'm done with him, Vido's humiliation is absolute. Bruised and blushing, he croaks out an apology and limps away to lick his wounds. 
My wife, on the other hand, is glowing like the sun. You are a true hero, Duke Valter, with my eternal gratitude. Um, okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. About 250 away. Lang a language barrier. I so love spending time with my friend Marie, although usually an interpreter is required. Usually the language bar barrier isn't a problem, but today I appear to have upset my dear friend with something I said. She said something that sounded like a joke, and I laughed as is courtesy, but then she gave me a glare uh, that spoke a thousand words. I felt that glare pierce my soul. I could see her friendship, which transcends language, slipping away. What can I do to fix this situation and hold on to the friendship? So I can uh, mumble something that sounds like her language and uh, hope for the best, or I should learn her language. Let's learn her language, I guess? That's something to do. Wait, did that cancel my romance scheme? Yes. Oh. Okay, well, that wasn't said, I think, but okay, I'm gonna get 300 gold from the Pope. Thank you very much, Pope, for funding my continued build efforts. In Burn, we're now gonna build, uh, I don't know, like another one of these. Another pastoral lands. Carrying on. Military schools are being construct uh, have been constructed. Nice, which should give us um, reduced uh, army cost, I think. Yeah, and more knights and more knight effectiveness. Oh, and I can check something, because I was wondering whether that would actually apply. Let's have a look. It looks like it did. Yeah, from the main 25%. Wonderful. We have a dynasty legacy. Now, this is the first time we've got to choose one of these. And uh, the previous people have just been like, let's just go straight down this path. What's well, inherited tactics? To get men-at-arms counter-efficiency, we don't have a ton of men-at-arms. An advantage for this one. And then the final one is private army, which gives you more men-at-arms. I don't think we need that yet. We can hold off. What other stuff we got? Uh, makes learning languages easier. Opinion and hunt and feast cost down. That's nice. Uh, dread gain and more natural dread. Chance of inheriting good traits. Best to get that early if you're going to get it. Um, we can get a vibrant court. Marriage acceptance up or extra fertility. Uh, renowned name would give us more prestige, but we shouldn't need it by then. Let's get noble veins. Chances of inheriting good traits for everybody in our dynasty? That seems fantastic. Inspiration realized. Over here, my lord. My beneficiary Anna waves me over with a wide grin. I have toiled many days and nights, and finally my work is done. He prevents. He presents me with an object wrapped in cloth, and I lift the. And as I lift the fabric, my eyes grow wide. An ornate crown of uh, fine jewel, uh, fine craftsmanship. The crown is forged from brass and set with small pieces of jet. So it's not really that good. But for now, that is going to be... Uh, that's the wrong one. That is going to be renamed to uh, the Swiss crown. There we are. And we will wear it. Fantastic. Are we looking on that whole prestige thing? Very, very, very close. Alliance expired with Duke Gebhardt, or Count Gebhardt. Wait, what? Why are you no longer married to Bertha? You are married to... Wait, Bertha... Wait, yeah, what, what happened to the marriage? What happened to her? Oh, she died before the betrothal could happen. Oh. Oh. Well, that's not ideal, I would say. Yeah, so that, that really didn't look very good. How's Austria looking nowadays? Gephard's still going okay? Okay, let's pin him for just now. Uh, just so I remember he exists. Lord Walter, my noble stallion. My courtier, Metschild, is kneeling in the dust before me, right, um, right hand above her heart. My only desire is to bring you the honor and happiness. Slay a wolf. She gave me a wolf pelt. Well, I mean, good on her. Uh, why did we want her to slay a wolf? Well, slaying a wolf gives us 0 0.25 prestige per month. And we're all about that prestige. I'm going to start keeping some money. We're getting very, very close to actually succeeding. So I feel like that's useful. How long till we can hold a hunt? We can hold a hunt in two years. We should have it before then. 
Um, greetings, Duke Walter of Transgerania. Be delighted if your daughter Inga, so you would visit my court in Edem to meet her peers. Okay, she'll go. That's fine. Neighboring rulers won wars. A child has returned from uh, meeting her peers. Ingel Tr or yes, Angel Trud can marry. That's my half sister. Um, well, you can no longer marry Count Gebhard. Could you marry his son, who is ill? Um, you could. There's a low chance of there being children from this one, because, um, yeah, because he's about to die and there's an age difference, so I think this one's fine. Get ourselves that marriage temporarily. Cool. So we'll send that one through. And we will chill just a little bit, waiting for that prestige. Inga has come of age, she is a fortune builder. Okay. Let's find her somebody to marry. I'm gonna marry matrilineally. Yeah, find spouse. Matrilineal. Search for... You You have intelligent, right? Yeah. So we're gonna for, search for inherit... Oh, it's already on inheritable traits. Cool. Let's see if we can find somebody. Mendo. That seems like a good marriage. Intelligent, intelligent. Chance of it upgrading to genius. Yes. Perfect. Let's go with that. And that also means that we now have Mendo in our court, who has incredible stewardship. So he can take over from Baldo. Uh, from Balder. Fantastic. So that now means that we have somebody giving us incredible bonuses there. Is it love? I scarce remember what my life was like before Met Shield declared her feelings for me. Those days seem so bleak, so dreary, but with her by my side, everything and anything suddenly seems possible. Wish we'd go on like this forever, but deep down I know I must make my choice. Am I brave enough to give in to my feelings unless I shut my heart to my child forever? So she may become my soulmate. She is not my soulmate, or um, infatuation ends the day. She will not become my soulmate. I'm out riding when my horse suddenly throws itself off the path. The fall is un unavoidable, but knocks the air out of my lungs. When I look up, I find myself face to face with a wolf. Before I get a chance to scream, the beast collapses, narrow between its eyes. Volta, my rose, I thought I had lost you. My hero is none other than Mitch Child. Oh. Diplomacy perk. Wonderful. Um, we are going to go for... Room... Oh, we could go prestige per dread, actually. We have a lot of dread. We have 45 dread, so 45% extra prestige. Yeah, okay, actually, I'm going to take that. I was going to take room to rule, but... We're now getting 6.7 uh, prestige per month. That's much better. We're getting there. So close. So close. Another couple of months. Another month. We are now illustrious. And with that, we're going to form the Swiss Confederation. If all Alpine uh, cantons are brought together, the Empire will have to recognize their claim as a unified confederation. So Switzerland becomes the Jure Liege, Liege of the Duchy of Corezia. The Duchy of Transgerania, the Duchy of Savoy. The Holy Roman Empire becomes our de jure liege of Switzerland. We get Switzerland. We gain 350 prestige, doesn't matter. You get the law, absolute crown authority. So we get a ton of vassal tax contribution and vassal um, levy contribution. They cannot wage wars. We can apparently designate our heir. We'll see how that works. And But the rent vassal opinion goes down. Yeah, let's do it. Royal court granted, because we're a king as well. Ooh. Nice, we're now a mighty prince. Okay, we're a prince, not a king, but still. Prince Walter of Switzerland. Um, and our primary title is now Switzerland. As prince, you have new duties and responsibilities. You will now be expected to regularly hold court, solving the disputes of the realm and letting your courtiers take part in your daily routines. Scottish Chalk is looking sternly at me in, direct, almost, in a direct, almost lecturing way. Perhaps there's also some surprise in his eyes. He starts to unfurl a beautiful banner, bearing the emblem of House von Hasburg. One of the ways in which the world will now judge your rule is by how you adorn and care for your royal court. I've taken the liberty to have this made as a gift to mark the beginning of your royal tenure. Um, We'll enter the royal court, or we can enter at a later time. Later time. The Swiss Confederacy. For a long time, the cities around the cent Central Alps have been threatened by other actors inside the Empire. United under a single banner, they have now forged 
mutually beneficial alliances and have received the honour of imperial immediacy. In honour of my dynasty's contributions to the Swiss city-states, I have been chosen as the head of this union, the one who will be the figurehead of all the cantons of our new Swiss confederation. No longer will, be, will we be threatened by outsiders, but instead rise as a strong independent actor in the empire. Wonderful. Now let me just check something here. We're, yes, we're still feudal, that's fine. For a second there I was worried. Also, we get this kind of pink colour now, which is kind of unique. Awesome! So we are now the Swiss Confederation. There's some things that immediately need to be done. Just see if we have anything else immediately that we need to look at. I don't think so. So, goal number one of the series. Create Switzerland. Done. Now we need to figure out what to do next. We do have goal number two, which is kind of vaguely become independent. But we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.